Welcome to Soaping 101. Does your favorite fragrance turn brown? Well, this week, we're experimenting with ways to combat that. To make our experiment as objective as possible, we're using the same amount of ingredients for each soap bar. Here I'm measuring out the water. Sample 1 will use water-soluble titanium dioxide. Sample 2 is zinc oxide. Sample 3 is Go Go Boots Mica. And Sample 4 is Cloud 9 Mica. All the whiteners have been added at a 1 to 1 ratio. And we'll stir to incorporate, cleaning the stick in between colors. Our soap recipe is 100% coconut oil with 0% superfat. This will give us an ultra white base to work with. We'll bring our soap to a light emulsification state. Each bar will weigh exactly 2.25 ounces. This is 0% fragrance oil and 0% whitener, and we will use it as a control bar to compare the others too. I have chosen a fragrance oil that contains 16% vanillin. It smells absolutely amazing. And I'll add it at 3% to our total batch weight. You can see here that it is already changing the color of our soap. We will pour off two and a quarter ounces of the fragrance soap as a control bar number two. Sample bar 1 is our titanium dioxide with fragrance. Sample bar number 2 is our zinc oxide with fragrance.
Sample bar number three is our Cloud9 Mica with fragrance. And sample bar number four is our Go Go Boots Mica with fragrance. Here they are freshly poured. Let's see how they change color over time. After three weeks of cure time, the soaps have completed their color morphing and we can compare our results. None are as bright white as a control soap number one, and none are as dark as our fragrance control soap number two. And some could have used a little bit more blending, my error. But the one using titanium dioxide and cloud nine mica appear to be very similar. Maybe adding more colorant could have amped up the whiteness even more. I hope this gives you some idea on how to work with this coloring fragrance oil. A huge thanks to Muddy Soap Co. for allowing me to experiment with their ingredients. If you're wondering why I didn't include Vanilla Stabilizer, my explanation is at the end of this video. Well that's it for this week. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.